Hey guys, Clint Hardy back here with you today. It is May 9th, 2018. I am in the field, the 55 acre field, getting some of these weeds knocked out. Uh, there's a lot of little ragweed, uh, foxtail growing, and uh, the last time that I had hit this was back actually in February, February 13th I believe is the date that I looked at uh, the video that I had made when I was out here disking and leveling the field up. Uh, today is about 90 degrees. I'm still probably a week and a half or two weeks away from planting. The reason why I wanted to come out and cultivate this field, I'm going to hit everything, is uh, I want to get these weeds knocked down and uh, under control before we potentially have some more rain. We've got a 40% chance of rain or better every day for the next two weeks. So I'm not too awful worried about how dry I make the field uh, for the planting conditions because uh, we do have several rain events in the forecast. Um, I've watched several videos. Uh, if you guys get time, check out Geiger Farms. He's a farmer that's pretty close to me. I've actually emailed back and forth with him. He's a great source, a great outlet for uh, beginning farmers as well as organic farmers. Um, he has a lot of knowledge and check out his videos. Very knowledgeable on his practices and very successful in the organic farming practice. Um, so when we get up here closer to the top of the hill, I'll show you where we had originally hit uh, with the cultivator that we just gotten at the time, um, where we had originally hit the field. And I don't know how well it's coming through, but you can tell there's quite a bit of green coming up. Um, so the overall goal is to get these weeds killed and over the next couple weeks hopefully some new weeds will be coming up right before we plant we will cultivate again and hopefully control most of these weeds um, this was like i said a 55 acre field i planted last year that i just couldn't stay on top of the weeds just ate me alive just ate me alive uh, rain also kept me out of the field for so long that it didn't give me the opportunity to come in and cultivate or do anything else so uh, looks like dad is pulling in he's bringing me some lunch and uh, so i'll catch you guys up here in just a few minutes on some of the other areas that i had hit previously those weeds very very few uh, what i'd hit two weeks ago with the cultivator the areas that i'd hit two weeks ago with the cultivator it just decimated the weed seed bank and it is not not coming back to this point but we're still hitting it again because we're here and i want to keep i want to keep this field a lot cleaner than what i was able to do last year all right we will see you guys here momentarily all right, hey guys, Clint Hardy back here with you today. Uh, follow on video of one that I had made earlier. Uh, this is part of the, the 55 acre field I was telling you about, and you can tell it's pretty green down there. Uh, velvet leaf, ragweed, uh, there's some foxtail growing, some water grass, uh, slew grass, whatever you want to call it water hemp uh, this is the field this is one of the the portions that had only been disked and it hasn't been touched since the middle of february and as you can tell i went around a while ago with this cultivator and you can tell that line uh, didn't get everything didn't didn't uh cultivate everything out but there's still still a lot better than what it was from when I dished. Um, 
you got a lot of a lot of young plants a lot of young weeds growing that this cultivator is is just taken out and this portion here it has been about two weeks since almost three weeks since anything has happened to it so since any any tillage equipment has gone across it um, so yeah the kraus cultivator is doing its job and taking out the weeds and we'll go back here behind to uh, show you what everything's looking like after it's got the three three rows uh time arrow on the back and this is what it's looking like after i am going three three and a half inches about three or three and a half inches deep is all i'm going um, and it's just turning everything over just like what i want it to want it to do burying weeds and cutting them out and i will take that all day long i uh, gotta go pick up the seed oh i think tomorrow is when i said i'm gonna go pick that stuff up pick up the seed and some of the soybean treatments and hopefully my new soybean and milo meters will be coming in the mail here uh, the next day or two and I'll get them slapped on the planter and I was talking with one of my old clients one of my old buddies I still keep in contact with regularly and uh, I might have a planter monitor to uh to put on potentially so uh, he's helping me out with that kind of referring me to a couple different deals a couple different opportunities so hope everybody's doing good uh if you don't mind please like there goes a deer please like please there goes another deer <laughs> i can't say it before they start running out please like and please subscribe to uh, my my channel and we'll uh, we will keep this thing rolling all right guys hope you're all having a good one and hope you're enjoying this nice weather take it easy